And joining us now is the chairman of the Senate Budget Committee, Paul Sarlo. Senator, good of you to join us once again. Uh, it, you seemed at one point, you said you were disappointed and frustrated that the Treasurer did not have the, the, the facts and figures behind the cost of the governor's bridge investigation. Were you really surprised not to get an answer to that? Well, first of all, it's great to be back with you, Michael. Um, I had spoken to the Treasurer yesterday uh, and had shared with him uh, that I was not going to permit any questions dealing with the subject matter in the report, the ongoing investigation, the work of the select committee. But since it was the budget committee, I felt it was fair and appropriate uh, to determine what the legal costs uh, would be to cover uh, the administration, as well as to, to cover those uh, attorneys working for the uh, select uh, investigation by the Assembly and Senate. Uh, I was just a little bit frustrated. There was no, no word on a contract, the cap amount, or, 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 or from what I understand, they have no bills in hand yet. So uh, I, the treasurer kind of uh, punted uh, over to the attorney general's uh, office. Are you going to call the attorney general? Are you going to call him in? Uh, I, the attorney general is going to be appearing before me next Thursday. And, and again, we are the Senate Budget Appropriations Committee. Uh, we are not... It's not our mission to uh, dive into the Bridgegate matter, but as the Budget Committee, we, when you hire an outside counsel such as this and uh, $650 an hour attorneys, I think we, uh, the taxpayers of New Jersey, at least have a right to know what is this costing us and who is covered uh, by the Attorney General's office. Uh, I thought it was an appropriate question for the Treasurer. Unfortunately, he decided to punt. It was a little, it, I was frustrated. The, the numbers that we heard from uh, uh, Mr. Rosen over at uh, OLS today about a uh, shortfall of $217 million this year, uh, 309 for next year, a total of 526 overall. Uh, what do those numbers say to you? Well, that's $526 million that Office of Legislative Services are lower than what the treasurer uh, is um, projecting. You got to remember, they already adjusted by close to $700 million. Uh, they're going to miss what they originally had projected uh, for the current fiscal year by close to $900 million. It's, it's frustrating. As I said, as the Budget Committee, every year we spend more time dealing with rebalancing of the existing budget. I would prefer to be able to spend more time talking about the building blocks of New Jersey. How do we invest in New Jersey? Education, higher education, so are you essentially, Senator, are you funding. saying that they have, they have an unrealistic attitude about what they're taking in, they continue to have it, and that despite the facts as you see them, they won't acknowledge that? Well, we've, they, they've missed the targets in the last three fiscal years by $1.6 billion. Now, I, I get it. It's less than 1% and a total $33 billion budget. But $1.6 billion is a lot of money, um, and, it, and it's a lot of money that we can be investing elsewhere in the future uh, of our state. So we spend a lot of time talking about revenue projections. If, and, and we don't want to be right or we don't want to be wrong. We all should be on the same page, and I made that clear. Internet gaming, for instance, today we were frustrated, unable to give us a number. Office of Legislative Services indicated that we would only realize in the current fiscal year $12 million. The projection was $160 million. The Treasurer was unable to answer the question today. What does that say to you about the way he's doing his job? Well, it was frustrating. How can the Treasurer of the State of New Jersey not answer that question? He said it's co-mingled with the Casino Revenue Fund. It's the first time we've ever heard that. This is a new revenue source, Internet Gaming. We want, hey, listen, I want to be able to say here to you, Michael, that we realized 160 million, but we didn't. Let's but, be. But let's let me, be let me, frank let me and make it clear. So I, in my mind, so I understand exactly what you're saying. Are are you kind of hinting that he knows, but just won't tell you? He has to know uh, that we 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 have the information for the Office of Legislative Services. We've been able to receive um, the numbers. The Dr. Rosen today testified that it was 12 million dollars. We asked him if he agreed with that number, and he said he has no way of determining it. That's frustrating. You also talked about raising the gasoline tax. Not particularly popular politically in certain parts of the state. Uh, is there any way this state can make its, its budgetary needs, can pay its bills, can, can handle the, pro the transportation projects that need to be uh, handled without raising the gasoline tax, in your opinion? Well, let, let, me, let me take a step back there. The, uh, the way I had approached that uh, 
by uh, during an interview before the actual budget committee is uh, one of my frustrations is we do not have a plan on dealing with transportation trust fund, investing in our infrastructure in the state of New Jersey. Uh, five years ago, they talked about pay go, where money comes from the general fund. Uh, we only did that one time, 66 million. Since then, we've been borrowing, borrowing, and borrowing. Uh, and the question was asked to me, how, is there a new revenue source? Can you fund it from the general fund? I don't believe you're going to be able to fund it from the general fund. You need to find a new revenue source, whether it's a user fee, some type of transportation user fee, or some type of gas tax. You're, you need a new, stable, dedicated funding source. I think when you explain to the public that it's a stable, dedicated funding source, that this money can't be siphoned off and diverted to balance budgets, but it's going to be to use to fix potholes, make bridges safer, reduce congestion, uh, increase capacity, um, people will understand. But that cannot be done by the Senate Budget and Appropriations Committee. It's got to be done in a bipartisan manner. I asked the Treasurer today, this is your fifth budget. When are we going to get a plan on dealing with transportation trust funding? And the response was next year. Uh, that's Every year we hear next year. So I guess we have to wait again until next year. It's just there's no long-term thinking here. It's, it's budget to budget, and uh, that's, that's, that's frustrating. Senator, have to leave it there for now. We thank you for coming back on the program, sir. And we'll look forward to appearing throughout the budget process. We're here every uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you, sir.